Good afternoon, YouTube! YouTube! Welcome to the channel of Southwind. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for this day. It is the Lord's Day. It is Sunday. And I want to say I went to church this morning and I did cancel the live on here today. Um, however, my wife is off work and I want to spend a little time with her. I don't get much time with her. We work two different schedules. I did go to church today and it was incredible. It was amazing. And um, I needed it real bad. God is single-handedly breaking me of my rebellious will against some of the things he does not or does want me to do in my life. However, join us next Sunday. We will talk about um, the Lord on this channel. We'll pray for people. We'll talk about some wonderful things. Buckeye is going to join me on this channel for the first time in at least two months, I think. He has not been, we have not done a live together in a while. We have been doing our thing, you know, uh, spending time with our family. And Buckeye's been fishing, so you guys come back and enjoy me for him got a lot of music to release hung out with a hit songwriter yesterday um he helped write uh uh she's got a t-top camaro with a scoop on the hood uh that old kick uh brooks and dunn song uh rock my world little country girl he helped write that one and his sister's a big deal in the industry uh pray for me that that goes well for me i pitched a couple of songs to him he really liked them so we'll see what, what avenues that can open for my um, musical journey. But this video today is about the Tennessee Titans. Huge Titans fan. Probably need to start another channel for that. But I'm a huge Titans fan. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's video. Um, let's just go ahead and start out by saying the Titans lost today. Will Levis, quarterback. Um, I can't remember the running back's name. I don't know why I can't remember it. Um, just have a bad memory. ADD. Um, but Will Levis is the quarterback. Uh, the new coach. Can't remember his name either. I need to do my research. Um, and I want to say that we are currently 0-3 this season so far. Tennessee Titans are 0-3. However, the Tennessee Vols are doing very good, and they are looking strong. We beat the Oklahoma Sooners last night, who are ranked number 15 in the country. We spanked them. Awesome Vols. Congrats, Vols. All the way, baby. Tennessee boy, born and raised all the way. So, now back to our Titans. Last year, at the end of the season... I'm not sure exactly who's responsible, but I know Amy Adams, Bud Adams' daughter. Bud Adams used to be the owner of the Titans um, and the Oilers. Now it's Amy Adams, Bud Adams' daughter. And I don't know what she knows about football. I would like to think she knows a lot about football, being she was raised around it. But um, she had Vrabel... Mike Vrabel, the head coach from last year, she had him fired, or she fired him. She's the owner. Um, I know she's responsible. I don't know who else is responsible. Whether it was like a coordinator who didn't like him or thought they needed to move on, I'm not sure. Also, they got rid of Amy Adams and whoever else was involved. Got rid of Ryan Tannehill. Um, who has been a huge contributor to the Tennessee Titans' success over the last five seasons or so. Yes, they had a losing season last year, but since 2019, we have been to the AFC playoff game, uh, or AFC championship game, uh, once, and deep in the playoffs, and I think maybe even twice the AFC championship game. But we were a 12 seed, uh, we, were, we were a first seed team at one point, and we've been to playoffs uh, almost every year. So, 
things have looked up for the Titans since 2019. When Ryan Tannehill jumped in and uh, started playing again. And whenever, you know, Derrick Henry obviously was a huge force. Now, he didn't produce very much last year. You know, um, and that's probably why they let him go. But And his contract was up, I think. But, Derrick Henry has been a huge force on this Titans offense. So has Ryan Tannehill, and so is Mike Vrabel. In my opinion, Mike Vrabel is the best coach who's ever coached the Tennessee Titans. Now, that is highly debated along with Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher was the first coach. Jeff Fisher had an amazing team, though. He was stacked with amazing players. Eddie George, uh, Steve McNair. Um, you know, Javon Curse, and the list goes on and on. Bruce Matthews, uh, all kinds of amazing players. Kevin Dyson, uh, Mason, you know. So there's so many players that Fisher was stacked with. He was a good coach, however. I think Vrabel was one of the best coaches who's ever coached the Titans. Um, or the Oilers, for instance. In that, in that regard, too. Now... They thought this, this, you know, and I don't ever want to say, man, I want, I want a losing season. I don't ever want to say, hey, I want a losing season, so that proves them wrong. But in this season, being 0-3 already, first three games, and we haven't even played a really good team yet. We've been playing mediocre teams, and we've already lost three games. I, I hope that upper management and the owner, Amy Adams, takes a lesson from this. They didn't even give Mike Vrabel a chance to go to another team. They could have traded Mike Vrabel for something, for somebody, something, somebody, whatever, coach or player or something, right? They could have traded Mike Vrabel. Instead, she just fired him. I don't know if there was a personal thing or like a disagreement. But, and I don't want the Titans to suffer, and the Titans fans to suffer a terrible season because of upper management wanting to push around their authority and make people know that they're the boss and firing Tannehill, Vrabel, and Derrick Henry. They fired the three biggest people responsible, our star running back, our starting quarterback, and uh, our head coach, they fired the backbone and the heart and the spinal cord and the brain of the whole team. And they were expecting to just replace it with Will Levis, who, and I've been saying this from the beginning, I don't care if you're a Levis fan. He's okay. He's all right. And I think he has potential. And I think he can be that guy for the Titans, that quarterback for the Titans. But I've been saying this from the beginning. Yes, give him a couple years. Let him work into the position. But instead, no, they're just going to fire Tannehill. They're just going to fire Derrick Henry. And everybody thought I was crazy. And there was a bunch of people on social media who was upset. What do you mean Levis is the future? Blah, blah, blah. He might be. But when somebody is learning to play and they're trying to grasp the NFL, you don't just rip off their mentor from them and rip off their head coach who they learned under. You don't do that. It's a slow transition, right? For the most part. It should be a slow transition. And I just hope that this season, if it's a losing season, hey, so be it. It's got to be what it got to be. But I hope this season teaches Amy Adams and the upper management and staff a humbling lesson. Stop trying to push around your authority. Because the people of Nashville in Tennessee, we love our football. We love our Titans. We spend millions and millions and millions of dollars on merch. Millions and millions and millions of dollars on football games. And to have you, I mean, I know it's just football, right? It is just football. But obviously, football, just like boxing or just like something else, it gives people morale. It picks up people's morale. If their football team is good, hey, sometimes they get encouragement from that. And yes, it is just football. It's just a game. But uh, um, on the other hand, this is also livelihood and this is also people's lives. There's no telling how many jobs that go through the NFL 
organization, association, whatever. Um, you know, all kinds of jobs. People don't come out to the games, concessions uh, don't get bought, you know, I, whatever, right? You can go down the list. There's tons of jobs that align with the NFL and the Tennessee Titans. So I just don't understand why they made such a rash decision. And I had a feeling this was going to happen because Rabel's been an amazing coach. I had a feeling this was going to happen. They just made such a rash decision, decision to just fire all three of those key people on the Tennessee Titans football team. And now it's showing. We're three games into the season, Tennessee Titans, and it's finally showing. And I'm not happy. I want a winning season. I don't care who it is, right? But I will say, I told you so. And most people don't even know who I am. But I called it. I don't want Levis to fail. I want him to have a wonderful career and, and do amazing things for the Titans. But, some of you people out there don't have common sense. And you've been around football all your lives. Good day.